COVID-19, what a journey. What a journey. Hey everyone, happy Friday. Today is April 3rd. This is Yavelle Lisa. Today is day 16. I welcome you back if you've been watching. Thank you. I found out I had coronavirus. I was tested on Wednesday, March 18th because I was rushed to the um, emergency room in Wichita Falls, Texas. Uh, Wednesday morning about 5 a.m. I could not breathe. Literally, I was um, in the bed in the hotel. I was moving around on my knees, trying to get into a position where the air can go into my lungs. I was holding on to the walls, to the pillows, just trying to figure out what is going on. Did I have some um, symptoms? What I did have was a cough. It, I didn't have a fever, no throwing up, no diarrhea, no runny nose. I had nothing. And I just thought I had uh, um, my sinuses because I really have bad sinuses. I have allergies. And I was out a week prior to um, uh, getting my first cough. So I was out and I thought because I was around some people and um, it was hot where I was at and I was sweating and I was going back and forth into the area that, you know, I thought that I was coming down with a cold because of the um, where I was at, it was hot. So I went to the doctor, fast forward, I went to the doctor for my annual checkup, annual. And I made that uh, checkup, that appointment, excuse me, on, sorry, in January, not even on, in January, because I always make my annual, um, my annual appointments, dentist, mammo, every year, and my um, appointment was on March 12th. I went into the doctor's office. They said, Do, are you coughing? I said, yeah, I have like a small cough. She said, is it anything to be alarmed about? I said, no, because I'm fine. She checked my chest, my back, took my temperature. Everything was good. Pressure was good. Um, so that was the 12th. Went home. I cooked. You know, I was laughing with my family. Um, Friday, I was feeling a little like, mm, like, what is this? But I still had the same kind of cough. I slept all day. I woke up. I was good. Um, Saturday night, um, I felt something again, the same kind of cough, but nothing crazy, nothing to alarm me about because what I do is, you know, I'm always out. I'm always in the street. I'm always, I go to the gym three, four days a week. So I'm thinking nothing crazy Sunday um, I woke up and again I felt some kind of way nothing again so I had the cough, a cough it, it progressed a little bit so I took some therapy went to sleep and I was good woke up Monday morning and I had to go to work so again like I said I'm a flight attendant and I got my trip went to the airport and by then, by the time I got to the airport, I was feeling lethargic. So from the time I woke up to the time I got to the airport, my entire situation changed. My body changed. And I just didn't know what it was. I took some Robitussin with me because I wasn't, again, the cough was just a little crazy. I wasn't even thinking about coronavirus because I know my body, I work out, I eat good, I um, go to the doctor, the doctor said I was good, so I'm like, okay, I'm fine. Well, on the Monday when I was flying, if most of you know, when you fly, the altitude will cut off some of your oxygen you know you don't have a lot of oxygen in a plane so it was creating something inside of me so I was by that time I was coughing extremely 
not extremely loud but it was becoming more and my chest just became extra tight and i'm like what is this we landed we got into um memphis we boarded the plane right back when we flew i sat in the um sat on the plane did my um job but my chest started getting tighter and tighter we've um stopped did another leg we got there and then i got off the plane i went into the bathroom and i couldn't breathe and i'm like something is going on and but don't son to me i was not paying attention to coronavirus because i'm never consumed with a lot of stuff because when we consume ourselves with a lot of things then our mental is really not good. That's my own thoughts, it's my own perception, and that is it. Waited an hour, got back on the plane, I sat there, and my chest was just going like, like this. It was just doing this. And it started getting heavy, it started getting tight. And I'm like, what is this? <coughs> Excuse me, by the time I got to where I'm at now, that night, I'm like, something is really wrong called a couple of people and when i was speaking to them i started like trying to catch my breath and i'm like this is crazy and again still i never google covid i never did any of that nothing well we were supposed to fly out tuesday and our flight was canceled um i literally was rolling around in the bed Monday night, Tuesday I woke up um, and I was like, yeah, something is happening. But when I get back home, I'm going to go to my doctor. So Tuesday I called my doctor and said, listen, I need to come back in because I have a cough and it's crazy and I don't understand what's going on. Tuesday night, when our plane was canceled, our flight was canceled, we went back to the hotel and I was laying in the bed. I had ate some food and I couldn't understand what was happening. I was coughing, 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 coughing. It was so bad that the side was hurting, my chest was hurting, and I had a headache. I had about five bottles of water, I had salsa water, I had tea, and I couldn't get enough liquids. I said, let me go to sleep. So I knew we was flying out Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. My wake-up call was going to be at um, 3.30. But I got a call at 12.30 and said, your flight is canceled. You won't be flying out <coughs> Excuse me, until Wednesday. <coughs> Wednesday night. So, <coughs> excuse me. I may have to stop this video. <coughs> so Wednesday night morning about two o'clock that's when um it started becoming very difficult to breathe i'm gonna end this video too because now um <coughs> i'm having problems um yeah i'm gonna end this video and i'm gonna come back tomorrow <coughs> And I'm going to tell you guys some more. <coughs> so, I'm signing up. I love y'all. Gotta go. Hey, everyone. Happy Saturday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today is April 4th. Uh, today's day 17. I am in the hospital. I just got my test results. It is 6.10 Texas time, and I tested positive again, test number eight. That's the TV, guys. I will say, and I know this for sure, whenever God says, daughter, you are released, you are released. There's nothing I could do about it. I am not the fixer to this. I am not the one in control. 
I just believe when my body is ready to get rid of this virus, that's what will happen. Until then, my food, trying to stay healthy. This is a, a sweet potato. It's a yam. It's a, it's a yam. So, again, I spoke to some people today, and they're like, oh my gosh, um, we got to do something about this. We, we got to figure out why are you coming back positive? Why are you coming back positive? So, my answer to them is, I have no control over this. I am not the fixer. My hand is not the one that can go in and fix it. Whatever swab they're doing, and I know because I watched them, it's my nose and my throat. Because it's still inside of me, that's what they're reading, the lab. So, there's nothing I could do about it. But I could tell you guys, I still trust God. And that's it. Day 17, April 4th, 6 10 p.m. That computer behind me, I can see every result that comes back. So I'm going to continue to trust God <coughs> and wait until it is time for me to be released. So I encourage you. Whatever you're waiting for, it will happen, not in your time, but God's timing, God's perfect timing, and that's it. I love you all.